This video is not for the faint of heart. But I wanted to show you guys just how weird these parasites are. You can see it under the abdomen of this mud shrimp. Looks like a crawdad, but it's not a crawdad. It's actually a saltwater animal. If we take the skin up, we can remove this parasite. And this one actually has a male and a female parasite on it. So this is the male, the little white thing, and it's attached to the female, which is way bigger. So we're gonna save this little shrimp by removing this nasty parasite. This is called an isopod. There are a lot of different kinds of isopods, but this one is uh, from Japan, but it's over here on the west coast. We're gonna get rid of that. Don't worry, shrimp. We're gonna get this parasite out of you right now. Two parasites on you. Okay, let's put you back in the water. We have two mud shrimp here. Hey, don't pinch your friends. One is affected by a blood-sucking parasite. Can you guess which one is and which one isn't? You just pull it right out. This is Martha, a Eupogebia shrimp whose life is being taken over by this isopod parasite known as Ortheon griffinus. Today, we're removing the isopod and setting Martha free so that she can have a second chance at a healthy life. This is Larry, a shrimp with an invasive blood-sucking parasite living under his skin. Imagine if one of these freaks of nature attached themselves to you. I hope you're feeling better now, Larry. Gary is infected with an isopod parasite. Don't worry, Gary, I'll help you. First, we're gonna take the parasite out provide Gary with some relief, and we're gonna set Gary free. Look, he's got his energy back. This little baby shrimp's name is Gilbert. Poor little Gilbert is infected with a blood-sucking parasite. We're taking this parasite out so that Gilbert can get back in the ocean and play with his friends. Have a great week, Gilbert. I get asked a lot what I do with the invasive parasite once it's removed from a shrimp. There's a couple things we can do. We can donate them to scientific research labs to help solve this invasive parasite issue or turn them into plant compost. I'm commonly asked if it hurts the shrimp to have a parasite removed. The answer is no. When done properly, the shrimp's gill flap is carefully lifted and the invasive parasite is safely removed. It may cause discomfort, but it gives the shrimp a chance at a healthy life. Karen stopped by my office today complaining about a side pain. Upon closer observation, I noticed that she had two parasites living on her gills, a small white male attached to a large pink female. Don't worry, Karen, you'll be feeling better soon. Definitely don't wanna watch this while you're eating, but here is your weekly dose of shrimp parasite removal. This is an invasive parasite, does not belong in this part of the world, definitely not on this shrimp, so we're taking it out. Tammy the shrimp came to my office complaining. I can't get pregnant. Well, Tammy, it seems to be because you have a blood-sucking parasite attached to your gills. Let's take that off. Thanks, Jake. You're welcome. Now go save your species, and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals.